Hello, I'm Zach. Today we are going to talk about Chapter Three of Eloquent JavaScript.、Uh, this chapter is about functions. Function is a very important concept in、um, JavaScript, so pay attention. Here we go.、Um, this is a typical function. You can use a var to define a variable. And then assign a function value to this variable, so that this variable represents a function.、Um, when you use this variable, which means you are using this function, you need to use the、uh, parentheses to indicate this is a function. It takes parameter. So here we can see. Square is the name of the function, and then x here is the parameter of the function. A parameter means、um, is something you pass into the function, so it change it can be changed、uh, every time、um, you call the function. And then within the braces is the body of the function. Yep. Okay.、Uh, side effects and return values. Side effects、um, means it's something a function does for you. For example, a function can print out something, change something for you. And return value、um, is kind of similar,、um, but it does not. Um, do anything but return the result to you. So look at the first example.、Um, console log. This function make noise.、Uh, console log、uh, string. That's what the function does for you. So that's a side effect. You will see something on the、uh, on the in the console. Yep. And the second example. This function return the result to you. That's the return value we are talking about. So,、um, yeah, this function.、Uh, what this function does is to return something to you, so that you can uh, use it. Uh, yeah, in other in other part of the program. Okay, parameters and scope. We mentioned par parameters before.、Um, it's similar to regular variables, but it's passed by the、um, the caller. Like when you call the function, you pass a parameter, pass the value of the parameter to the function. Yep. So, like in the previous example. This one, when we call square with twelve, we pass twelve as the value of、um, the parameter x. Yep. Scope is a very important concept、uh, to function. So scope means、uh, every function has its own territory, which is called scope.、Um, So when you、uh, create a variable inside a function, that variable can be only accessed within that function. So here in the first、um, example here, we have a x equals to、uh, outside, and then we have a function f1 within. The function we have another var to create another x variable,、uh, which equals to inside f1. So、um, the function ends here with the closing break curly break breaks, and then in the when you run f1, the 
variable x with the value of inside f1 is created and then destroyed it because the function ends here. When you do console lock, it print out the x from the um, outside scope rather than within uh, f1. So you got outside as a result. In the second part of this example, we have a we have a function called f2, and then pay attention here. Uh, there is no var before the x, which means in f2 it doesn't create a new variable but using the variable created by the first var and change its value to inside f2 so when you run f2 the x the value of x change to inside f2 right so you can see um, the the function here can exact the top uh, scope which means outside of its uh, scope but the um, top scope cannot exact uh, the x within f1 we will talk about this uh, a little bit more later okay uh, nested uh, scope that means you can have functions within functions. So here is an example. We have a function called landscape and within this function, we have a function called flat and mountain. Yeah, these two functions are within uh, landscape. And these two functions can asset the variable of the outer function landscape right here you can see they are manipulating um, the result the variable of result which is created in landscape rather than uh, the function flat or the function mountain yeah so inner scopes can accept their outer scopes but outer scopes cannot accept their inner scope which means landscape here cannot accept anything created within um, function flat or function mountain. Yeah, because landscape is outer uh, scope and flat is and mountain are inner scopes. So there are two ways to create functions. The first one is um, create a variable and then assign a function value to this variable. That's what we have been seeing. Um, like this example, we create a variable called flat and then assign a function um, to this variable. The second way is declaration okay uh, we use the function keyword to declare square as a function and the parameter is x and the body is return x multiply x yeah the thing about declaring a function is um, declaration is something um, outside the um, top to button process of execution of the program which means usually um, a program runs uh, line by line from top to down but uh, de declaration of functions will be take took will be um, taken away and run before the whole program uh, was run. So you will 
um, you can do it like the first example so console log use the function future before the function future was declared yep it's totally all right with declaration and then another thing you need to know um, is you can have functions within functions but you shouldn't have functions within a conditional execution like if because uh, different browser have different um, response to this this method it would create something unexpected so you shouldn't do this yep another thing you should know about is the call stack uh, let's take a look at this example we have a function called greet and then it takes a parameter called whom who and what it does is to console log hello plus who so when we run um, greet harry you got um, you got a um, uh, console log hello harry and then we console log a by here so let's take a look at the scope of this this program first of all we have the top scope of the whole program and then we have a scope of the function GREE uh, as mentioned before every function has its own scope so um, GREE is under the scope of top is within the scope of top and then within the scope of greet, greet there is another function called console lot uh, it also creates its own scope so there are three levels of scopes here and so when greet is triggered the the context the like status of the environment of the function greet will be uh, record and then it's uh, it's the same for console lot when you run console lot this the context of console lock lock will be record when the function is done and the program will continue with the context so um, when console lock is done here the program jumps back to the context of greet and then when the greet is done the program jumps back to top yep that's the call stack when you call a, a function the computer would stack the the whole function so that we have a call stack so when there are too many level too many stacks um, it calls it consumes um, memory so if you have like uh, too many um, functions within functions you will uh, got um, you will get a error of out of stack space or too much recursion things like that optional argument um, JavaScript is very flex flexible about about arguments of functions for example alerts the function alerts takes only one argument so when you pass three arguments to this function um, the function alerts would just take the first one and ignore the rest so that you can you won't see any error with this line of program and you can define two 
argument and then use pass only one value to this argument in this example the function power has two arguments base and exponent and the inside the function we check if exponent is not given we just assume it as 2 assign a value of 2 to this variable so you can do power 4 with just one argument or you can pass two arguments to this function closure um, let's take a look at this example we have a function called wrap value with uh, it takes one argument and within the function we create a variable called local variable and assign n as its value and then we return another function this function returns the local variable created by wrap value so we can see there are two functions here the first one is wrap variable the other one is uh, the return function there is no name for it for at this moment so when we um, create a variable called rep one and assign rep value one to it, it means we pass uh, one as n in rep value, and then rep one becomes became a function because the function rep value returns a function so rep1 itself is also a function and what rep1 does is to return the local value which is one created by um, by rep value the problem here is when rep value 1 is done um, the, the the local value should be destroyed because the execution of function rep value is is done is over but when you cancel lock rep one um, with parenthesis because it's a function you will still get one that means um, the second function here returns local variable um, the local variable is still accessible even when even rep variable is is already done that's this idea allow you to uh, accept um, a variable that is created by another scope another function which was um, destroyed like uh, done his job this concept is called closure so when when the variable when there is still a reference to one variable the variable will be um, kept for future for the reference just like this one the second function ref refer to the uh, local variable so local variable will be kept rather than destroyed with rep value yep that concept allow you to um, accept a variable created by a function that's already um, destroyed that concept is called closure okay so um, this is an example of closure we can see function multiply
multiplier takes a parameter factor and then within it um, it returns a function which takes um, a parameter of number so first when you call multiplier with 2 that means factor equals to 2 and then the function we returned in multiplier will be twice now because twice equals to multiplier that means twice takes the return value of the function multiplier which is the function within it so when you uh, use twice as a function you don't forget to use um, parenthesis with it and pass the value pass the parameter for the pass the value for the parameter number yeah so just like the previous uh, example actually um, when we finish this line the twice equals to multiplier um, the function multiplier is already done uh, factor should be destroyed but you can still refer to factor within um, the function twice that's the idea of closure another concept about uh, function is recursion recursion means um, a function calls itself within itself so for example this one power um, the function power takes two parameters base and exp exponent so within it it calls itself power yeah so when we run this program with two and three as parameters the first time we got two and three and then the program start starts to check for exponent if it equals to zero one will be returned otherwise it will um, return a base multiply power base and exponent minus one so when we run when we run it for the first time we got two and three so exponent um, is three and exponent minus one is two so the second level of power will be running with two and two and still it's not zero the exponent the value of exponent is not zero so the program keep goes to uh, another level which will be 2 and 1 and then 2 and 0 so we got 0 here 1 will be returned and the 1 return will be the will be, will be the res return value of the third level so will be here so we got two multiplies multiply one that would be two and then this two will be the return value of the second level so in the second level we have two multiply two and then we got a four which will be the return value for the first level that means we got two multiply four and we got the final result eight that's how recursion works so you can see the cost stack here it's very obvious yeah okay um, we need to um, think about when should we we should use uh, functions the first occasion is when you need to repeat the same code again and again 
So there is a piece of, of coat that you would use it more than one time. You should use you should um, make it into a function. And the second situation is when you need a new functionality, you want it to be independent. Yep, you can create a function for it. The second thing we need to talk about is a pure function. That means basically basically means a good function. Um, so according to eloquent JavaScript, a pure function is a specific kind of value producing function that not only has no side effects but also doesn't rely on side effects from other code. For example, it doesn't read global variables that are occasionally changed by other codes. Which means a pure function should just return value and um, it doesn't rely on anything else, anything outside of its own body, its own code. So, so that every time when you run this function with the same parameter, you got the same result. That's a pure function. Okay, that's all about function. And let's take a look at the summary. First, we talk about how to create a function. There are two ways to create a function. The first one is um, create a variable and then assign a function value to this variable. The second one is to declare a function with the keyword function. And we need to understand side effects and return value. Side effect uh, is a function does something for you, like print out something, and return value is um, refers to a function returns something rather than do something for you. Parameters. Parameters are variables that pass to a function or the value of the variables that are parsed to the function. JavaScript is very flexible about parameters. You can pass extra parameters and which will be ignored to a function. Yep. Here is an example. The parameter here is x. Okay. Scope scope is a very important idea, very important concept of uh, function. Every function has its own scope. All parameters and variables created in a function belongs to the scope of that function. Outer functions or scopes can't access um, variables of inner functions, but inner functions can access variables of outer functions. Okay. Um, that's all about function. Uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to do the exercise at the end of chapter, chapter 3. They are very helpful. If you need help with the exercise, uh, please comment. So, and don't forget to subscribe to our, our channel uh, for the next chapter. And the next chapter is about objects and arrays. Thanks for watching.